हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल स्पाइव रिशाली इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट रिक्वायरमेंट्स मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक्स देन कंटिन्यूस मेमोरी नॉन कंटिन्यूस मेमोरी फिक्स साइज पार्टेशन डायनामिक साइज पार्टेशन एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल विथ एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस our next topic that is fragmentation in operating system let's start the session so previously we have already discussed all the subjects in detail with practical demonstration and solve examples i have attached link of that videos in below description box please share my channel with your friends and subscribe it that will be beneficial for everyone in today's session we will discuss about what exactly fragmentation in os then internal fragmentation external fragmentation with examples then difference between that and at the end we will discuss some important question bank now let's see all these points one by one the first question is what exactly fragmentation see operating system has multiple process and every process required the memory for execution purpose so it is the work of operating system to allocate and deallocate the memory to each and every process in operating system memory is divided into the two parts either it is a fixed size partition or dynamic size of partition we have already discussed this topic in detail in our previous session i have attached link of that video in below description box so operating system allocate the memory to the particular process but sometimes what happen a particular part of memory is unused or it is a wastage of memory operating system can't used that particular wastage of memory for any other work purpose so at that time this wastage of memory or unused memory which is called as fragmentation in operating system so fragmentation is divided into the two parts internal fragmentation and external fragmentation now let discuss in detail with examples so let's understand what exactly internal fragmentation see here in this particular diagram in operating system memory is divided into the equal size equal partitions see here 4 mb 4 mb again 4 mb and 4 mb memory so complete memory is divided into the equal partition or fixed size partition now what happen here see suppose process 1 is coming process 1 required the 3 mb memory for execution so from 4 mb they used only 3 mb memory for execution 1 mb is remaining similarly after that process 2 is coming process 2 also required the 3 mb of memory so again they used the 3 mb memory and 1 mb memory is remaining similar to process 3 and process 4 now every field 1 mb memory is remaining right so this is a wastage of memory this is a unused space right assume that suppose process 5 is coming and process 5 required the 4 mb of memory so here there are total 4 mb is there but not in continuously right so this is called as internal fragmentation this unused memory or wastage of memory called as internal fragmentation in operating system and the solution of that operating system using the dynamic partitioning problem now let's assume the another example see suppose in your mobile every application 100 mb ram is allotted right when you have installed whatsapp application but whatsapp application required only 80 mb of memory so from 100 mb they use only 80 mb for execution so remaining 20 mb is unused right so this is called as internal fragmentation that's why every application in your mobile they use dynamic partitioning memory now what exactly external fragmentation see here in this particular diagram so this is a memory block in operating system so 4 mb plus 4 mb 8 mb is a utilized space utilized memory okay now this 4 mb again 4 again 2 means total 10 mb is free space in that particular memory now assume that 
particular process is coming and this process required the 8 MB of memory for execution. Now see here in this particular memory block, continuously 8 MB memory is not available. This 8 MB is scattered into the two parts like 4 MB and 4 MB, right? So this scattered memory which is called as external fragmentation, clear? So there is a no any large or continuous memory spaces available. So at that time external fragmentation is occurred. Again, I am giving you some another example. See, assume that this is a particular memory block in operating system, right? So 100 MB memory is utilized by the WhatsApp, 50 MB memory is free. Again, 200 MB memory is utilized by the YouTube and again 50 MB memory is free. Means total 100 MB memory is free now in memory, right? Now, suppose you want to open the Instagram application. So, Instagram application required the 80 MB memory for execution. Now, check here. As per this block, 100 MB memory space is vacant, right? But not in continuous manner, right? Instagram required the 80 MB memory for in continuous manner. So, still there is a empty space, vacant space. But you can't load the Instagram application. You will get the error like app restarting or low memory. So, this type of error user will get. So, this is the reason of external fragmentation. Your memory is scattered everywhere, not in continuous manner. Clear? Now, let's take a quick revision on the difference between internal versus external fragmentation. Okay. See here, internal fragmentation means wastage of memory occur inside the allocated block. For example, there is a fixed size partition. So, 4 MB memory is there. But process required only 3 MB of memory for execution, right? So, 1 MB memory is inside the block which is wasted. External fragmentation means wastage of memory is outside allocated block. Means your wastage of memory is scattered everywhere. That occurs externally. Again, in internal fragmentation, unused space cannot be used by the other process. Here, free spaces exist but cannot be used by the other process which required a continuous memory. Again, internal fragmentation mostly occur in fixed partitioning. And external fragmentation mostly occur in dynamic partitioning. Again, see here. Uh, this is just an example for internal external fragmentation. So, in internal fragmentation, suppose process use 80 MB memory out of 100 MB. So, 20 MB memory is wastage inside. Similarly, in external fragmentation, free spaces are there like 40 MB, 30 MB, 20 MB. But a particular file required 90 MB of memory. So, they can't fit here, right? Because memory is scattered everywhere. This is an example of external fragmentation. So, what is the solution on this? So, here in internal fragmentation solution is to reduce the block size or paging concept and here in external fragmentation solution is paging and segmentation. So, we will discuss paging and segmentation in detail in our next session. So, as per your previous year question paper, they have asked the question like uh, write a short note on fragmentation in operating system or difference between internal versus external fragmentation. So, this is somewhat easy topic. Prepare accordingly. So, this is all about. Thank you. Keep learning.